So, are you tired of slow Wi-Fi speeds on your Fire Stick Fire TV device? We're going to try a trick today where we can change the DNS settings of your Fire Stick to give you faster Wi-Fi connection and there's options for blocking malware permanently and blocking adult content if that's what you want as well. We're going to do this all with the DNS settings. Um, for those who don't know what DNS is, you can think of DNS It's a bit like the telephone book for the internet uh, where you type your domain name in and that then is responsible for translating those codes into numeric IP addresses leading to the correct website. Pretty much it's a bit of an in-betweener between you and the internet. Some DNS servers perform faster than others, so we're going to try changing our DNS servers today and boosting this Wi-Fi speed. As you see, my Wi-Fi speed there in the corner today is around 65 um, megabits per second, so we're not getting the great speed. So we're going to change them. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we're going to see what comes up with it. Are you ready? Okay, first thing we only ask is hit that subscribe button, and you're going to need a couple of pieces today. You're going to need a pen and paper, and you're going to need your Wi-Fi password as well. Okay, you're going to need both of those for us to do this. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to start this nice and slow, all from our home screen. First thing you will need to do is go to your settings, go down to My Fire TV, and click on About. In here, you will need to note down under Network your gateway and your IP address. Okay, you'll see them circled there, so write them down. I'm going to write mine down now. and your gateway as well. I've got them written down, but I'm just doing it at the same speed you guys would be doing it at. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our network settings. So I'll do it from the home screen to keep it nice and simple. All the way across to your settings, go to network, and the one you are connected to, you need to forget this network. So push the three lines on your remote, then click on forget, and you are now disconnected from the internet. At this point, before we change anything, I just want to let you know, you can change this because don't worry, if it all goes wrong and it doesn't work for you, at the end you can just forget the network again and reconnect to your internet as normal and nothing would have changed. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click to connect, and this is where we need your password. So you need to type in your password of your Wi-Fi. I'll do mine quickly now. Okay, I've got my Wi-Fi password typed in. The only one thing different now is you do not click on connect, you click on advanced at the bottom. Click advanced. And now we have to put back in those details we had from earlier. So we need to enter in our IP address. So I've entered mine, my IP address is entered, and we click next. Then you enter your gateway exactly as it's written. That's the good thing about checking. Okay, we click next. In this one, enter network prefix length. We always put 24. Okay, no matter what, it's 24. Then click next. Okay, so now what we're going to do is use um, Cloudfare's DNS servers. Okay, Cloudfare is a great platform for your security. You'll see lots of websites use Cloudfare as well. And they are one of the fastest public DNS settings you can use. There's other ones out there, but this is one of the best ones. And they have a few options for you. So as you'll see on screen now, we've got a few options. One is just generally they advertise as faster. One does the faster DNS for you plus malware protection, plus one does faster malware protection and blocks all adult content as well. This can be used on all devices, not just your um, Fire Stick. It can actually be put into certain routers as well to cover your whole house, your choice. But remember, these are public DNSs, a bit like what your internet service provider always use. So I would still recommend using a VPN for your overall privacy, but these will help in some way for free anyway. So I'm going to go with the DNS for, um, I'm going to do it with faster and malware, okay? Malware blocking. So I'm going to type in, my first DNS is 1.1.1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. Okay. And then next I get 1.1. Point zero, point zero, point two. I will list these all in the description underneath, okay? All three different options will be underneath in the description and in the pinned comment for you. If you're watching this on a different platform, 
come over and find the video on YouTube if you need the specific links and the descriptions, okay? If not, it's all on screen for you anyway. We then hit connect. And now our Wi-Fi will be connecting. There we go. And what we can do now is a Wi-Fi speed test. And to do that, we push the play button. And then we can run a fresh speed test. And that will run for us now. We'll give that a couple of seconds. Again, this is a preference of mine. You don't need to follow it. Again, you can. I'm going to show you in a second how you can remove it as well if you did not like it. So let me see my Wi-Fi speed test. And there we go. We've got 160 on there, up from what were we about 60 something today. To be fair, my internet is a bit slower than normal today, um, but that is a great speed increase for me. Let me know if you got a good speed increase. I'm going to run this content for mobile phones and PCs over the next week or so. So do let me know how you get on. For any reason, if it started doing things you don't like and you want to remove it, all you need to do again is hit that and you can forget your network. OK, it's not a problem. You can forget it, no problem. Brilliant. That's all there. If it was a little bit confusing, do remember you can just re-watch the video because there's loads of content in it. Again, if you're watching on another platform, if you come over to the YouTube channel, Doc Squiffy, there's a bit more information in the description for you. So do look us up. And as recommended, you may still want a VPN with that. This is not your 100% privacy. These are public DNS settings, a bit like what your internet service provider would already use but these ones are a bit faster. So I would still recommend if you want full on privacy to use a IP Vanish VPN, which is linked underneath. They also have DNS settings you could try as well. So that's all linked underneath for you. This is a obviously a paid service for your own privacy if you are interested. Perfect, what a video. There's one here as well if you wanted to speed up your wired connection on the YouTube channel. Um, we're gonna have a little look at DNS on that soon as well. We've got loads coming up. We involving your internet because it's one of the biggest issues which cause people the buffering the lag on your streaming services and your device perfect do enjoy that one hit that thumbs up hit that follow button and i'll see you soon